Hello, this is Keith Graham from CodoSip. I'd like to introduce you to Assignment 9, Checkpoint 4, running your first C program. Let's go to CodoSip Studio. You will have imported, or you will be importing, a program called Hello World C Program. It's a, it's a very simple program that I declare a number, and then I initialize it to 20. And you can see that I have currently the printf and the scanf uh, lines uh, commented out. But then the number will determine the number of iterations to the for loop, which will determine the number of hello worlds get printed out. The reason why I have the printf and the scanf currently commented out, the scanf does not work well or, or does not work in the debug environment. So we're going to comment this out and first validate the C program works in the debug environment before we run it as a native program. Now, the first thing we need to do is go to the workflow task uh, uh, perspective. And for the compiler configurations, the linker flags need to be very specific. The number of where the spaces are, the commas. I highly recommend go into the assignment where it provides the linker flag flags, copy them and paste them into the dialog dialog box. It will really help you uh, to make sure that you actually uh, input them uh, properly and have the program run as expected. Now, I've already saved this, but I will compile my program. Now I'm going to go launch debug, and I'm going to do my uh, hello world CA right here. So I put a breakpoint at the very top of my um, uh, C program, so I'm going to stop here, and there's no other breakpoints. So I'm, I'm going to go all the way through, and I should print out because my number's set to 20 here 20 hello worlds. Now, I set my environment specifically this way to show you that sometimes you might have deleted the uh, uh, debug console down here. That's where the printfs are going to appear. So, if you need to bring up that view, you can go to view debug console, and now I have that console available. I'm going to actually run my program all the way through and we can see the hello worlds. So we can see we got 20 as expected. Now let's run this as a native uh, C program. Now let's, we got to go back to the workflow perspective. Now the run command as well as the profiler command will use what is assigned SDK to actually run the program. Now, since I'm going to be wanting to run the CA model, I need to make sure the assigned SDK up here is for the CA model. So I'm going to expand to see which uh, model I have currently assigned, and it's the IA. So I want to reassign the CA model. Now I've going to, uh, I selected CA, now I have to wait until the assignment is done. I can validate that when I see it updated in the workflow perspective. The CA model has now been assigned and I can hit uh, click on run. And you can see through the uh, task that I actually ran it, but I'm gonna go back one more time, but this time I'm going to uncomment my printf and scanf so you can actually see that the scanf actually works in the native environment. I'm going to select my uh, C program lines A to 9 and use my favorite command, control slash to uncomment them. Save uh, my file. Recompile it with those two lines uncommented. I'm going to now say run. And you can see down here it says input the number of hello world to print. I'm going to select 8. And you can see that it uh, took the input from the scanf and only printed eight instead of 20 hello worlds. Hopefully uh, this assignment uh, uh, is enjoyable to you, but I, once I got the C programs, it was really exciting that I see that I can do more than just assembly operations. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel so you'll be notified when additional videos become available. Good luck.